Welcome back to Washo Nevada for episode 25 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Right then, so as you've seen, all the silage has been going into the uh, silo at the main store. Not s yeah, silage, what am I talking about? Um, and it's full. I've filled it all up, so all this is surplus. Surplus, I said I was going to sell. Um, I think I'm probably going to get a couple of loads, maybe a couple of full loads with a little bit left over, maybe. Um, so this will be sold. I'll get paid for this at midnight. Um, got a few jobs to do, I think the first field of soybean is now ready to harvest so I can crack on with that and then I'll go round all of my fields I think I've got four haven't I four out of the five um, have got soybean in field five I put grass in because I'm going to do something different with that um, so I will see you in a minute soybean harvest field 11's done this is 11a First full load, 60,000 litres. I'm going to get this down, sell this. I'm not going to put you through watching a whole soybean harvest again. We've, we've done soybean harvests before, but just to show we are doing them. Now, price is still best at livestock market, um, and I think it's up at 1720, so I should get about 50 grand per section of this trailer. I'm thinking to get one of the B double mods. Was it the B double? so I can run more in one load. I've got the bigger truck, so it shouldn't have a problem pulling anything. So I think I might well do that and get an extra. Now I've got a bit of money. Right, first load, 51,617. That's good. That's going to put us up about 102, 103 grand for a full load. Can't odds that at all. We should be going back over a million. Over, well, maybe overnight, maybe when the harvest done. 927,000. Next load's probably going to be in the dark because a couple of fields aren't ready to harvest. And I wasn't wrong. I don't like driving in the dark. The headlights on these trucks aren't that great. Um, I've gone down, back down to 919,000 because I bought three or four pallets of fertiliser. I'm doing a fertilising contract on field three. They pop up every now and again. Field 1, 2 and 3 fertilising contracts are worth their weight in gold. So every time one pops up, I jump over there, get on with some fertilising. Um, so we should go over a million again. Not with that tank. Why kind of... Why is this not switching to the right tank? I'm indicating, I'm not doing... Why has my mind forgotten which... It's right one and dip. There we go. <laughs> I believe that's called a brain fart. There we go. Come on. One million again. Oh, yes. Right. By morning, we should be back up. One million three hundred thousand with fuel runs and stuff like that, hopefully.
Contract complete. 41,915. And this is the last of the soybean off my fields. Um, so we're going to be looking at over 1,100,000. Unfortunately, fields 15 and 16 both need liming. And I don't like liming in the dark. I can't see a thing. Um, I might just have to... Well, I'll give it a go. Good thing about fields 15 and 16, it's probably quicker to go down to the quarry to get more lime than it is to come back to where I've got it in store. So I'll probably do that. Excellent. Back tank. What are we up to? Nice. Right, I'll probably see you in the morning now. We'll be a little bit richer. Decide on trailers, cedars, tractors, a few bits and bobs. I'll see you in the morning. Where do I stand in the morning? Well, fields um, 15 and 16 have been limed. Fields 11 and 11A now both have wheat in them. I thought I'd go for a different crop. I've done a few different ones. Uh, I'm going to stick wheat in them because I can get the straw swath. I know I said I'm going to be buying straw and I will still buy some as and when I need it. But what I'll do is I'll take the uh, straw swath off those fields once they're harvested and that will come down and come into storage. So I might as well stick another different crop in the ground. I have just taken on a contract on field three for fertilising again. It's gone through the night, that's ready to go. And talking of going through the night, 100, was it 138 grand? It's literally just popped up on the screen for you guys, hasn't it? Um, that was taking all of the silage from the silo. Well, not all of it, I've got a little bit left. Look, I'll show you. Not very much left. Got a tiny little bit left in here. Not enough for a full load, so I didn't take it up, but I could have done. Um, yeah, so we did all right. Um, as it stands in the morning, let's have a quick check on our uh, animal situation. We have got next animal in four hours, 45. So that takes up to 47 of each on those. I've got 48,000 litres of milk, enough for at least one tanker load. 50,000 litres of slurry, that's amazing. Um, and then on this one, I've got 24,000 litres of milk and 41,000 litres of slurry. So combine that together, I've got 91,000 litres of slurry. So that's just under three loads up to the biogas plant. Milk, 24 and 48. 60, 72,000 litres. That's a couple of runs of milk. I have to check on the milk prices in a minute. Um, so that's pretty good. Everything's still in the green as far as feed goes. Cleanliness probably could do with a little bit of a check up, but let's have a look then. What's milk going for? 1698 up at the dairy factory. And it is climbing, so we'll keep an eye on that at some point today. Right, so I did say new vehicles. We're going to do some upgrading. Um, taking it up a notch, let's say this needs to go over towards field three because, like I say, oh, hang on, I'm just going to wash it first because it's absolutely disgusting. Needs sorting, needs sorting. Past couple of days have been mad with mods. I've been trying to juggle, as you do, trying to juggle life, <laughs> family, making my videos, mod reviews. Um, and this just I was doing jobs in the background on this and each day I did a little bit more and then by the time I'd done the jobs in the background to prepare for doing the next part of the video I then had to go and do something else so unfortunately it kind of the video didn't get made but that's why I'm on it now I'm on it now right so off to the store we shall go I have off screen as well topped up the um manure over here at our vineyard and our greenhouse greenhouses oh, listen to me in my greenhouses my greenhouses blimey what happened there um so the manure's topped up the water will need doing i've got some in the tank of there i've taken over the um case optum cvx the case optum is at the store already i'm going to be selling the little deutz far this has got about 22 hours on it or something now <laughs> quite a few uh, and the Optum and I'm upgrading this into the place of the Optum and the Optum into a whole another place um, I have also mode moan mode field 10 I'm in the process of mowing field 5 which is just over the ridge there um, 
Because I thought, until Seasons comes out, you can get away with the double cut thing, can't you still? Because the, the actual grass won't um, decay or decompose and disappear. So what I've done is, whether I'll do it in this episode or later on today, I did say I was going to silage bale the grass. Um, but what I can do, if it grows again through today and into tomorrow, I could cut a second time and in effect I'd have double cut. Um, so I'd have twice as much off the same amount of fields. I know if I did it today and then did it again tomorrow, it would still be the same result, but I just thought, trucks over here for very good reason. We're now about to spend some money. Fuel runs are done uh, and water runs are done. We're up to 1,445,000. Get in. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Right, so, bit of repair and sell that for 126. Not the best price you're ever going to get. This I'll probably get a fiver for. This has been an absolute workhorse. I mean, for doing the all of the fertilising contracts, all of the fertilised on mowing fields, this thing has been absolutely wicked. Um, but how many hours does it say? It's got a few on it. Age nine days. Operating hours twenty. Twenty point four hours. Doesn't seem like a huge amount, but it, yeah, it makes a difference. Sell that for, oh, 13 grand. That's not so bad. It wasn't too expensive to buy in the first place, in all honesty. So time to buy some stuff. Another spending spree. So this is another one of those step up in the farm where we um, get to spend some of the money we've made, and that's the whole point, in increasing the abilities and uh, what the farm can do, what we can produce, what we can transport, all that kind of malarkey. So, first then, we're going to go from having the little Deutzfahr up to, and I really liked this mod, this is why I'm doing it, um, we're going to get the Puma CVX. So this is going to directly replace, I say directly replace, it's quite a jump up. The good thing about this is, because you can get the CVX, the 240 tuned, takes up to 300 horsepower which doesn't put it far off the Optum's horsepower. So we're kind of upping our small tractor up you know, next level type stuff. Um, so what I am going to do though, to start off with, I'm going to keep it case red because it's a case, you know, we're kind of going down the route. I think I'm going to keep the rims the same, but uh, crawler tracks, I'm going to buy it with crawler tracks because I want them and that's an extra 10 grand, but that's fine. Um, front loader attacher, we will say yes to that because um, I haven't got any front loaders, have I? Let's say no for the time being. I can always adjust that. Um, but why is this not going to where I want it to go to? That's weird. Engine setup. There we go. That was peculiar. Uh, so we're going to go for the Puma 240 CVX tuned, which is 300 horsepower. So that's absolutely fantastic. Once I've bought this with crawl tracks, because obviously that's the extra money. I'm then going to change it to narrows, um, and that's the beauty with this as well. I can switch between um, run narrows if I'm going to be doing um, spraying on crops and stuff like that, but the tracks the rest of the time because I just think they look really, really cool. So let's buy that, and then we'll adjust it momentarily. And then next, we're upgrading our Optum to something else. When I say something else, something else. No, I haven't got the modded one of these. I'm not going with the modded one. We're sticking with Case, but we're going to go with the quad track, um, which is a big jump up. So, uh, yeah, Deutzfar to Case Puma, Case Optum up to Case Quad Track. I had a look at all the different options available. I didn't even think about a big bud, which is a little bit cheaper. But, you know what? I'm getting a quad track. Just because I want to. It's a big chunk of change. It takes our money down a little bit, but we will make that money back on milk, on selling slurry, on our crops, and you know contracts. That I really, it doesn't matter. It's all good. We've got no loan to pay off, so let's buy that. Six hundred ninety-two horsepower. But we're not done there, because we need to go to trailers. Sorry about this, it's going to take a while. 
and when I said when I do my mod reviews I've got a lot of trailers installed I really have it's the IT runner packs that make a massive difference there we go so the pace set is super B now the thing with this is I need to get two of these because I'm going to sell the additional you'll see what I mean in a minute um, yeah now what should we have it as rim colour I think is on chrome isn't it stainless steel zinc let's chrome them up uh, main colour oh this is driving me mad there we go main colour white stainless steel black gunmetal oh yeah I like that well that's not going to match what I've got already though oh it doesn't matter let's go with that uh, design colour that's th the cover isn't it oh like it like it like it like it so let's buy one of those Let's buy two of those, and this it will become quite apparent why I'm, why I've done that. Uh, the other thing I was going to do was swap out the um, livestock trailer that I bought, but I didn't bring the other one over. But what I'm going to do is let's go to um, animal transport, and I bought one of those, but I think I'm going to swap it out for the cattleman, cattleman. Um, it takes a couple more at a time and I can use that with the pickup as well um, which means if I'm using all my tractors for any particular given reason plus I think it kind of fits the map quite well um, am I going to leave it blue? I might leave it blue actually I haven't got much blue stuff cover do I go with the well oh, it doesn't look too bad Shall I go no tarp though? Yeah, let's go no tarp. Tarp, no tarp. And we'll stick with fifth wheel because that's what we've got. So that's 19,500. Let's buy that. And then what I'll do is I'll bring the other animal trailer back and we'll get rid of that at the store at some point. So, yeah, a bit of a spending spree. We've just got through, what's that, 900 grand? Something like that. 929,000. <laughs> Nearly a million. But that said, oh, look. Once you've had tracks, you'll never go back. It's like the the big brother and the little brother, or the dad and the... You know, whichever, you know what I mean. Oh, that looks so good. So, so good. Right, let's move these out of the way. I was contacted by the modder, Jens, about this. Um, and I apologise for getting his name wrong. And he said it wasn't a problem. Um, but I said that I love the mod. Just love the mod. So let's very quickly put narrows on this then for the next job. I'll do for the time being. And by getting the tracks first, which is the most expensive thing, then when you come to do the other changes, it doesn't charge you anything, because if you go the other way and you gradually increase what you buy, you get charged kind of each time. At least that's been my experience. So this will go over to field three and start on the spraying contract. That pays out another 41 grand, so we're already starting to recover some of the money. Some of the 929,000 we just spent. <sighs> oh, my days. Right, so let's put it to one side. That, the pickup on that obviously is so much better than the little uh, the little Deutz file when it was loaded actually oh, I'm going to have to put some more fertiliser in that aren't I that's not a problem so let's move actually I can do it with this can't I let's move the cattleman I did think about doing all this off screen I thought oh, people don't really want to watch me just spending money and buying new stuff but this is all part and parcel of now the whole process, the whole point of doing all the jobs, making the money you're making, um, is to upgrade your farm, to make more money, to buy new stuff and, to, you know, to expand. That's the whole point. And if all of a sudden I, I have stuff sitting there and people will go, hang on a minute, I, I'm just as bad. You know, when I watch people's Let's Plays and, you know, all of a sudden you start the next episode and the person's got, you know, two new trailers and another tractor and you suddenly, where, hang on, where did that come from, you know? Let's just put that there for a minute. Did very well not to hit that lady. 
don't think she would have been too happy had I have done. to detach that Didn't do swell with that person. Who just got a face full of truck. When you get down to accident emergency or what do they call it in the US? Emergency room? That's a nasty abrasion on your face, madam. How did that happen? Well, funny story. A lorry smacked me in the chops. It's not that funny a story, but you know. Right, what I think I'll probably do then, <laughs> I'll finish this bit off, off camera, because it's taken a little bit longer. Like I say, at the moment you're just watching an episode of me moving trailers around, so you know. Oh, right, right. I don't know. <laughs> Feel free to skip this bit if you don't want to watch it. I totally understand. Oh, look, she's coming back. She's coming back for more. So that's basically her saying, come on, bring it on. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, so I'm so busy watching her, I wasn't reversing. But feeling slightly, I don't know, I'm in a very funny mood today. Just like I say, this video has been filmed in about 15 separate parts at the moment. Oh, come on, just... Back it in already, get it sorted, there we go. So what I can do now... Is sell these two back, because I don't need these. So I sell that for 35 grand, what's another 70 grand back? 72 actually. Nice, okay. Money's looking a little bit healthier. Good thing about buying the quad track as well now, it does mean when we have a little bit of, you know, finances increase again, we can start looking at bigger cedars. I don't really cultivate, do I? But if I get a bigger cedar that doesn't direct drill, I'm going to need to cultivate. So a big cultivator, bigger cedars. Um, just everything we can go bigger because that will pull a house pretty much you know probably even a planet if you gave it enough chance a uh, bit of a run-up um, oh someone put a fence there how did I not notice that fence wait for it back up to that one Come on. There we go, right. Well, that was a right palaver, wasn't it? Anyway, so the good thing now is that hooks to that, which leaves that one open at the back, which means the trailer we've already got can hook onto the back of that. So that gives us 30, 60, plus another 60. We can now transport 120,000 litres at a time. Manoeuvring it may be a little bit tricky, but on a map like this it works out a lot easier than obviously trying to do it on something like Marwell Manor Farm or Oakfield or you know, like a real tight, narrow, winding farm. Right, let's... Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there is the modded version of this. The modded one that caused so much controversy when I did the mod review. Oh. 
I'm not bothered about having slightly wider tracks and to be honest with you I don't want to pay an extra 90 grand for the base vehicle so I'll stick with this one thank you very much but oh how cool come on where's my follow me mod I need follow me uh, right what we'll do then I need to seed oh that was the other thing I was going to try out the cedar situation. You know what? I'm going to. Um, the cedar situation in that a lot of people have been saying about the John Deere cedars will only work on a worker. The new John Deere cedar, that is. Um, was it the 8250? I can't remember. Well, there was a number of it. Or am I thinking of the Gamer 8250? There was a modder, isn't there? That's, I've got it. 8350. Uh, let's get... standard. Uh, one, two, three. And we're going to ignore Newtonian physics. I had a comment about that. <laughs> we've got farming simulator physics. Don't worry, it's all good. So we've now gone from our standard, we've got a 12 metre cedar, which is like two of those, up to an 18. Potentially, if I can get this to work properly. But we'll get back to that in a little while. Um, right, let's, the other thing as well, I've just suddenly realised I've got to try and find somewhere to put all this stuff. But, for the time being, let's take our newly acquired Puma. No, let's not. It was that thing I said I needed to do, didn't I? I need some fertiliser. But I think I've probably put stuff in the way. Oh... You know when you start doing something you think this is not going to plan. Let's buy four of those. Four or three. Mm. One, two, three, four. No, was that? Oh, I don't know how many did I just buy. Oh, I did buy four as well. Oh, that's the right side. So for 10 grand, I've got 10,000 litres of fertiliser. That's all good, but I think these are all going to be in the way, aren't they? <sighs> right, I'll fill this up, uh, then I'll always over, and I think what I'll just do is take machinery back, um, back to the yard, and then we'll work out where we're going to go from here. I think I'm going to finish off that grass situation. And then what we might do... Yeah, we might check out the seed situation as well. We'll see if we can get these seeders to work. So I need to plant, build 15 and 16. With what crop? I haven't decided yet. But we'll get there.
Well, it certainly would appear, as people did say, um, that unless you hire a worker, if I press till I get to the one directly behind, I can turn that one on. I've lowered them all three down. It said you had to um, unfold them, so I've lowered them. If I click onto the next one behind and press on, it turns the front one off. So I say, potentially, there'll be an update coming for these. But what I will do is, at the moment, I'm oil seed radishing. I'm going to oil seed radish, this field and 16, as my second fertilising state. And then what I'll do is come back later on, using the quad track with a bigger cultivator, and cultivate all in. Haven't done oil seed radish for quite some time, so I thought, you know what? Why not? Now some people say that using a case quad track to pull three small cedars is overkill and they'd be absolutely right it is um, but my uh, John Deere is otherwise engaged mowing and obviously because this doesn't have a three point link I can't put mowers on this but I have now increased from my 12 meter to 18 meters and I could potentially with this quad track put another two on here if I'm happy to hire a worker and bring myself out to a 30 meter cedar which I might well do you know now obviously the other downside is um, compared to the one I've got already uh, which is the Great Plains YP4025 the modded one um, that these will only do your standard crops while the, where the Great Plains ones will actually do um, oh, it's gone blank oh that's interesting always reversing oh okay that's not going to plan is it where is he going you know what this could be an issue then what I might do then let's see if I can swing it around and run a strip okay well it was a good idea in theory um, just wondering then if this is going to be an issue potentially So going to miss a bit. Of course it is. Moved over too far. Um, yeah, so these don't do your standard crops, whereas the Great Plains ones will do pretty much everything. So, I don't know. Horses for courses. I'll give it a go. At the end of the day, if it doesn't pan out, it's 18 grand it's cost me for the three of these. And I could do a water run, potentially get 15 to 20 grand for a water run. So if I sell these back, I'll get half the money back. Um... It's not a huge loss. It's no, not as bad as if you'd spent 140, 180 grand on a sower cedar and then suddenly thought, this is awful, it's not what I wanted, and then you're kind of stuck. You've paid out a lot of money. So um, that's my reasoning, and I'm sticking with it. Oh, contract on field three is finished. I better just whiz over to that. Otherwise, um, it's going to carry on spraying, spreading, and I don't want it to. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's come back to here. 41,915. Let's collect on that. Uh, there's no other big ones. That field one harvest of oats is still sitting there. That's been there for quite some time. Field two's got a sowing contract. Could potentially do that. I think I do need to buy a load more seed. I did buy some just to do these, but... Um, I think I probably need to buy a load of bulk. I, I said that back in like episode three or four. The once I started making money, I would buy a big old bulk load of fertilizer, a big old bulk load of seed, and put it all into storage. And I didn't, did I? So should have done really. Right. I've found this on field fifteen, which is a bit peculiar that this little bit down here there's a dip and for some reason it hasn't liked fertilizing it hasn't liked seeding sowing it kind of misses it every single time oh he says and it does it straight away brilliant that's just for camera that is just showing off now okay so with a hard worker hired potentially if you've got a boundary you're not going to have all that horrible reversing. I mean, it will get there, and with a tractor with this kind of horsepower, it, it's not going to bother, is it? It's just going to back up and 
the cedars will go all over the place but it is working but like I say if you're one of those people that like, like, like to do the seeding yourself and wanted to give it a go that's a, it is a bit frustrating I can totally understand why I think when I did the guide to I just automatically hired a worker because I thought it'd be easier didn't even think that there would be an issue with um, with doing it yourself and to be honest with you hiring a worker doesn't bother me I might, I might still if I'm going to be doing a standard crop I might buy two more of these you know I think being out of seed 30 metres at a time is going to be absolutely fantastic and having the quad track now as well that'll pull that no worries so uh, yeah all good right then that can carry on contracts finished on field three i've now moved the um, fertilizer spreader over to field five my grass field i have cut the grass but what i can do because the grass has been cut i can now um fertilize it again which takes me back up to two fertilizing states so it's kind of ready for the next cut and then when the fertilizing is finished on that field i'll take it to field 10 do the same on there um what i'll do is i'll just show you on the map what i mean just in case I wasn't being clear uh, so at the moment it's been cut which takes it back to one fertilizing state with grass fields so all I'm doing is going over it there with the fertilizer spreader taking it back to two so that can now just regrow again and it's going to get maximum yield off of it field 10 has been cut and it's as you can see it's down to one growth stage uh, fertilizing state and I'll go over and do that one again um, so by doing all seed radish on here oilseed radish will grow once it hits its first growth stage so you don't have to go through three growth stages first growth stage i can cultivate it um, admittedly by doing that i am now kind of double handling what i could be doing now is putting an actual crop in um, some kind of i'm putting a crop in just to cultivate that in so technically it's costing me money because i'm paying for the oilseed radish but it's not using hardly anything of the oilseed radish at the moment anyway so that's why I've always been a bit kind of you know I get the concept of a cover crop but to me you're just adding an extra layer of work in but then I suppose you'd have to go over this with the fertilizer spreader so or sprayer or so I guess yeah you know Okay, well, this will continue. I'll move over to field six in a minute. When I'm done here. I think I might buy the other two, you know. Make this process a whole lot quicker, wouldn't it? right then in for a penny in for a pound I just had to make sure they're all set on that's weird they're all set on oilseed radish every single one of them yet one is saying wheat that's really thrown me now now I'm panicking why is one saying wheat which one is saying wheat
which one I'm baffled I don't understand this they were all fine a minute ago I don't want to end up with a stripy field <laughs> with one load of grass in the middle or something. That's not going to help. Surely as long as the lead one is saying oilseed radish, let's go this side. Oh dear. That's probably too far over, but let's see. Please put it on all on oilseed radish. One is still saying grass and it's dropping. Oh, seriously. Yeah, that's odd. The outer edge one is... putting grass in no, maybe this wasn't such a good idea stop there a second why can I not why can't I isolate that one that one that one that one that one that one maybe That one's fine, that one's fine. That one may be. Oh. That could be it. I just had to isolate the right one. Okay, let's try this again. That's better. I just hadn't isolated the correct one. I just had to really keep an eye up in that top left hand corner. Um, because where you select um, machinery, pressing triangle or uh, bouncing between all the available trailers, it's really difficult to tell because they're all kind of packed right on top of each other. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, field 16 is done. Is it the best answer to a problem? Not necessarily. If you've got fairly square fields with plenty of runoff, you might be... I don't know. I'm, I'm really torn because I like the, the speed that it does the job. Um, but any odds and ends that get left, there's absolutely no reason at all. Oops, hang on. Wrong one. Why? You can't just then detach the others and then the odd little bits here and there that it does miss. Because it will do, especially on weird shaped fields. And I suppose that's the only downside to not being able to do it yourself. Is you could actually, if you could do it yourself, run a really nice wide um, headland all the way around, really. Um, or a strip all the way around. And then it becomes a kind of a moot point then, because it'll always have plenty of room to turn. So, you know, I don't know. Am I going to keep them? Maybe, I don't... Or do I go down a more traditional route? But the problem with the traditional route is it's expensive.
Not that I haven't got the money, but... Like I said on the mod review, if you can do it for 30 grand, why would you spend 180, 200, 300,000? I'd, you know... Spend 10 times the money for doing the same job seems a bit mad to me, but... Like I say, for ease of use to be able to just, you know, get a cedar and just hire a worker. But then that said, I have found in the past using things like the big old hats and Bickler, um, and now the Vaderstat Seed Hawk, they will only work on certain types of fields, certain shapes of fields. You're always going to have those bits that it misses. The versatility with this as well being, when you get to a point like I am now, I can just detach one section, two sections, three sections, and do... A whole load whereas if you've got the seed hawk or you've got the hats and bickler you can't separate off sections of that you've you've got what you've got and then you're kind of stuck then if you have got little bits you've got to run the entire 18 20 24 meter seed around whereas doing it this way i haven't had to so i don't know yeah that's the um, oil seed radish in. Actually, I think they've got one bit over here. And then what I'll do is I'll come back. I'll put them all back in a line again. I've still got plenty of seed left combined between them. I think what I will do is let's close that. Let's close that because it's going to get in the way. Fantastic. So yeah, with a bit of fiddling, you can get it to work. And it works fairly effectively. It's not perfect, but I say with a with a minor tweak, a bit of an update, I think it could be as near to uh, uh, as as good as you get. I feel a little bit like DJ Gohan, and that's no disrespect. I love his videos. I think he's absolutely fantastic. Um, but this is unusual for me doing something a little bit kind of outlandish, a little bit over the top. Generally speaking, I kind of I, I by no means play realistically. Um, I try to be realist-ish. I think maybe I should have that as my thing. Dagoins is always used to be realism is key. Maybe mine should be realism-ish is key. Um, whereas I love the fact that DJ just if it's there and you think you know what, let's give it a go. Especially with PC mods at your fingertips, it's just you know, let's have a crack, you know. And I love that. I think that's absolutely brilliant. There you go. Well, you know what? I tried it. That's the main thing. It's where things get a little bit more unwieldy. We've got multiple points of articulation with a quad track and then something that is also articulated, but, you know, <laughs> it's alright. Let's disconnect that. Bring that in. Then come back to the front, take that off. This is going to take a bit of time. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, gradually detach all these. Actually, if I zoom in a little bit, makes my life a little bit easier. Rather than try and wind them all with multiple points of articulation, just bring each new one to the front. It's far easier. I mean, I know that seems like an obvious thing to do, but... I guarantee someone out there would be fighting trying to get them all to uh, go the right direction. I myself have done it every now and again. And then you stop and think, why am I doing this? There is actually an easier way. Let's get that one. Bring that in. That way. Doing this over a freshly seeded field, again, probably not the best decision I've ever made, but... I'm just shredding the field. I said I'd do it off, off screen, and I'm doing it on screen anyway.
Right, we'll take these back. And I think I'm going to do probably a milk run, maybe. I'm just trying to think what's the milk going for now. 1760, I'm still climbing. Maybe a slurry run. And there we go. Five in a row. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep them for the time being. And then I'll decide what I'm going to do with them after that. But field 10 has now been fertilised as well. So both my grass fields have been cut and fertilised. If you see what I mean. Let's whiz a little bit closer. So they've all been done and using that new um, the A10 cross cut um, has meant I did 10 metre widths. That's all good to go. Now I could just come back with a baler wrapper now and do this field in field 5. I might still do that, you know. I'm, I'm still deciding. Um, and I think cultivating when the all seed radish is ready to go, I might lease a cultivator rather than buy one initially. Because I'm not going to do all seed radish a lot. But that said, like I said earlier on in the episode, if I decide to go for a big seeder, the big seeders don't generally direct drill. I'm pretty sure they don't direct drill. I, you know, I'd say I do have that horrible problem of misremembering. Um, I mean, I could go down the route of, yeah, if you get the Sea Talk XL, 290 grand. Plus, then you need to have a Sea Tender, like an air cart. The Hats and Bickers is a little bit cheaper, but that only runs at 18 metres, which I was, I was just running at 30 metres. <laughs> so, again, that does the same crop types. That does the same crop types. And that's only 25.6. So, for the little bit of fiddling about. The next question to ask though is, I wonder if you can run a seed cart in front of the lead John Deere, would that pass back to all the seed carts as like a capacity, maybe that would be something to look at, at a later date I think. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to put these. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Or maybe I'll just sling them in next to the uh, slurry tanker. Got plenty of room. Let's do that for the time being. Let's bring our John Deere Cedar train into the station. <laughs> uh, right disconnect that so let's grab the truck let's grab our slurry tanker we'll take a load of slurry up to the BGA I think that's that's the best bet Who's Karen reversing back? Might as well continue taking it up. Digestate being the byproduct. Actually, I'll bring a load back actually this time. I didn't, I, th I was meant to last time and I completely forgot. So, let's load this up. 3,000 litres, nice. I think we've come to the end of this episode. I think we bought a whole load of new stuff. I've still got to bring over the livestock trailer and take the old one back. Um, we've finished off a contract, got paid for that. I've oilseed radished two fields. Um, yeah, that was a lot of money we spent on it, but we made a little bit back. All good. So once this is full, I'm going to head up and we'll sell this at a biogas plant. There we go. The expansion continues. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>